Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. This judgment is referring to the judgment when we stand before the Lord and give an account for the works which we've done. That's what this judgment is referring to. And at the judgment seat of Christ, when our works are tried by fire, only the good workers receive a good reward. The ungodly are denied rewards because their work was wicked. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. The judgment where we stand before the Lord and say, Lord, are my works acceptable? Not to get into heaven, but because we are going to heaven. No one is exempt from appearing before Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5.10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. This, this verse right here should, by some means, compel us, motivate us to live a life that honors God. Should at least, by some means, get us moving down the road of, of trying to serve the Lord with our work. No one is exempt from giving an account for what they have done. In Romans 14, 11 through 12, it says, For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God, so then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Not only must we appear, we must give an account. There is no adequate apology. There's not going to be anybody at the judgment seat that gets a passing grade by saying, Oh Lord, forgive me for all of the things that I did in the past. And, uh, and, and I should have done more work, and, and, and I, should have, I should have been more faithful serving you and been more faithfully obedient. He's, he's not going to say, well, that's fine. I'm going to give you rewards anyway. We must all appear at the judgment. We must all give an account. But we are not all going to be able to stand in the judgment. That's what verse 5 says. One commentator had said this, he said that they will have no adequate defense. They won't have a leg to stand on. What are you going to say? What are you going to do when you have to stand before the Lord and say, you know, Lord, I realize I'm here by simple grace through faith alone. And you spared my life, maybe not once, maybe numerous times. God, I, I know that I'm here because of faith in you. But my life that I had, I did not live to the fullest. What are you going to say when you have to stand before the Lord? Are you going to get rewards? The ungodly shall not stand in the judgment. You don't want to be one of those.